Hello, Yubi Jubi! Uh, frankly, I've not made any videos because, well, life's been very busy and I just haven't felt like it. But, I've just got back from this AA and people were talking about videos. And to be honest, with all the Combiner War stuff that's been coming out and recently getting the 2010 release of G1 Predator King, it's like, ooh, Combiners, let's do some Combiner videos. But Combiner videos are really hardcore, especially being all little people that merge into big people. So I figured I'll start talking about individual ones just to get back into the swing of things as you do stupid things on the video just to get back into the swing of things and I figure well why not do unique toys mania king I mean it's a third party take on Galvatron I am a massive Galvatron fanboy um, I am a massive Galvatron fanboy, uh, and I've already done the all these other Heralds of Unicron videos, so I figure why not do some more, and then I can put them in a pretty little playlist. So here is Minaya King Galvatron. This is the second release, the one in the anime accurate colours. Frankly, I have no problem with the darker purple of the original. I don't know how well this will be showing up on the camera, but yeah, it's good. You can, it looks fine on the video. So. I'll be fine with the darker purple on the original and the lighter grey bits, but what I wasn't happy with was on the cannon, all this orange was all white and it was just a tiny little smidge of orange as like a very thin framework. I didn't like that. It, it, it didn't look Galvatron-y enough for me. So when I was able to spot this, actually at last year's AA, the 2014 AA, I thought, ooh, Galvatron! I've got to have that. So here we are. First and foremost, I'm not going to put it on. But he does have a proper laser pointer in there, and if you switch it on, okay, I guess I am putting it on, you got a little switch just under there, and you put it on, I haven't actually put this on since first got in, there you can see, oh god I just looked at the dot, it's a very bright dot, you can see on my hand there, very bright dot, I mean you could do some serious damage to someone's eyeballs with this, or completely terrorize a cat. Either or. Not gonna shine in the camera, don't worry. But you see, you can see there in the barrel, it's a proper, proper laser pointer. So that's just a wee little switch in here. I don't know if the original version had that. I think the original, the first version just had a standard LED. This is a proper full-on laser pointer. That's right, Galvatron's toy is so crazy it can cause you physical harm. Here he is, he's got his nice little tripod mode. Now the instructions say his head here is supposed to be angled downwards and he's just peering out through there with his head crowns pointing down like that. I don't like that, that looks stupid. I managed to jiggle his transformation so it tucks away a little smoother like that. And it just gives his cannon mode just a little bit, a little bit more of a cleaner look to it, you see? I mean, it's still visible head syndrome, but it just looks cleaner. Smoother and cleaner. I haven't shown you all around him, have I? Ah, you can tell I'm out of practice with this. I mean, you, you know, he, he's got a slight wobble, but you can just plonk him down. He's not going to tilt over anyway. Uh, I have money out things to say. 
It's a great little cannon. Um, got it. We got tank tread. Yes, we got his little tank treads on. These are slightly disposable, so you can go wibbly wobbly weird stuff. Uh, there you go. I mean, it it locks together beautifully. You shake it, nothing's gonna fall out. So. It's a really nice sturdy mode, it all pegs together well. Clicking his legs into his waist in this mode can be a little troublesome, but you just gotta be, well, not careful, but it takes a lot of effort to wrap them together. Well worth it though, well worth it. I am chuffed to bits with this Galvatron. And just for comparison, I'm not putting everyone into alt mode because everyone's in normal mode. There's Universe Galvatron. There's the Universe Galvatron with him. I'm going to transform in this guy. And here's the proper comparison. Here is the G1 Galvatron. So as you can see... Oh no, you idiot! You put your finger over the lens! So as you can see, there is a considerable size difference there. Also, the G1 Galvatron has translucent or transclearant plastic, whereas the Unique Toys version is a solid piece, which makes sense because the solid, because the Unique Toys one has electronics and blinding laser pointer. There's just a nice quick overview of those two together. You know, it's it's a very nice update. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh no, I forgot to do something. No! Ah, now they are. That is a perfect homage to that. See, you gotta have these bits hanging out, otherwise. It's not really a homage. Homage, homage, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. But there you go, there's your Galvatrons together. Anyway, that's enough rambling about that. G1 Galvatron, very easy to transform. This guy takes a little effort, so it won't be an online transformation, but I never do on-screen transformations anyway, unless it's something very simple. So, on to Robot mode! And here he is in robot mode. And I'm trying a new camera angle type setup out here, so we'll just see how this goes, shall we? Anyway, here he is in robot mode, and oh, he looks so good. I mean, he's pretty much kibble free. And what little kibble he does have, he has to have for the Galvatron appearance. I mean, he's got his little back spike here, stand, whatever it is. He's got his little hip flap thingy, my bobbies here. He's got his wonderful little six pack, and check out that face. I mean, look at it. If that doesn't scream Galvatron, I don't know what does. Now these horns are in there, they are sharp and pointy, but they are a, it's like a hard flexible rubber. So they will bend, but they will still poke eyes out. Um, articulation wise, these all your usual standard stuff that you'd want. Arms don't have any wrist swivels, so his hands are stuck in that kind of a pose. Uh, it's it would be nice to have wrist swivels, but it's not a deal breaker because you can get him in some nice. I will destroy the universe kind of motifs going on, or his whole ah, rip them apart and destroy everything. I I do a really bad Galvatron voice. I mean, <laughs> but uh. What can you do? Well, you can keep doing your bad Galvatron voice. 
I mean, like I say, he's he's got all the pretty much all the articulation you would want, and he stands well. He stands really well. Um, if he can just there you go, get him balanced properly on his ankles. And oh, I know I'm a Galvatron fanboy, but this this is oh, this is so good. All he needs is a little Decepticon symbol on there. Oh, this, this is, this is like masterpiece level Galvatron. I mean, he's not masterpiece sized, obviously, but in terms of his appearance, what he can do, all that kind of stuff, this is basically what I would want from a masterpiece Galvatron. And one thing I do like, the knee pads are on their own hinge, so when you bend the knee, like this one, you can just flip that down and the knee pad remains connected to the leg, which is a very nice touch. Very nice touch indeed. Um, his head can look a little down like that, as if he's staring you intently. You can't look up. Uh, Let's face it, if Galvatron is facing something he has to look up to, he's just going to shoot it in the knees and bring it down to his level. And if it still doesn't yield, he's just going to shoot it in its face. And if it still doesn't yield, then he will just keep shooting it in the face. Because he's crazy like that. And I love him to bits. The paintwork is really well done as well on this figure. There's there's no splotches or anything like that. I mean, this is my first Unique Toys figure. I picked up the Unique Toys Blaster at this auto assembly. Um, again, that's a really great figure. I'm going to do a video on that in a bit. But the the paint is just. I mean, it's it's not shiny, but it's not dull. It's just. It's just right, except for the silver here on his thighs. That is a really shiny silver, and it really, really contrasts nicely with everything else on the figure. I mean, build quality, I can't, I cannot say anything bad about this thing, you know. Um, one of these arms, that arm there, that arm doesn't lock in on mine. This one does. You can see there, that's locked in. Well, this one is, keep, comes out when I manipulate the arm. It's easy enough to just push back in, but it's just a minor niggle. He's even got opening and closing hands. Ooh, opening and closing hands. More Transformers need that because it gives you so much more options. So many options for such a beautiful figure. Anyway, there is Galvatron. Uh, Manaya King, sorry. Absolutely fantastic. So, let's just bring in G1 Galvatron. Uh, just to see how they look. Uh, as you can see, the G1 Galvatron is a... He's a little bit bigger. But, you know, he's G1, he's leader. That was going to happen. Manaya King is roughly Voyager sized. Uh, let me get some more comparisons in. Here he is with the Deluxe Generations Galvatron. You know, I still like this figure. I still think, okay, it may not be a good figure, but I still absolutely adore this thing. I don't care what anyone else says. Maybe it's a Galvatron fanboy in me, but I still like this. Anyway, there he is compared to him. Uh, we'll bring in Cyclonus and stay standing and Scourge so you can see how he matches up with those two. Now, personally, in the movie, this guy is actually smaller than this guy, so if you want accurate scale, you got to use this one, you scale enthusiast. <laughs> That's a good looking team. That is a good looking bunch of people. Or, since he's just, he's, he's a fairly recent, well, a more recent figure, so he just got distracted by a cat out the window. Here, he is with Combiner War Cyclonus. 
and they look good together. They're the same height. He does a pa he does turn into him. It's but here is Cyclonus and Galvatron together, and that is a good looking team. I would say we would need a Voyager Scourge to complete the set, but no, 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 that is a, that is a rabbit hole I don't want to get into. So, oh, sorry, I keep forgetting the lens is offset on this. So there is Minaya King, I'll just bring everyone in. There is Minaya King, he is an absolutely fantastic figure. I can't say enough good things about him. He feels really nice and sturdy. There is no way he is going to break or be fragile or have any other than the head horns, which you can't help because that's just the design of the character. Nothing they can do about that. But even then, you know, they feel they feel like you need to apply some pressure and they snap rather than distort them. But you would still need to apply quite a bit of pressure to them. So, you know, all in all, he's a fantastic figure. I highly recommend him if you want a, if you want a larger Galvatron. Um, you don't want the G1 version. Everyone's falling over. If you don't want the G1 version and you hate this deluxe version, you cannot go wrong with this guy. He is an absolute beast of a figure. Oh, the Heralds of Unicron.